next part of the Green Library project where we're going to talk about setting up the electrical. To begin, you want to make sure you have all your switches and all your outlets in place, as well as any appliances that will be using electricity. So have those. Also, you're going to want to have your ceiling as well as your ceiling lights. And if you forgot how to put a ceiling or ceiling lights, it's relatively straightforward. You want to be on whichever ceiling plan you are currently going to put your electrical for and then simply go to ceiling. You want to sketch your ceiling because the automatic tool isn't always reliable and then you kind of want to just draw in the space for the ceiling that you'll be creating. So simply because of time I'm just going to create these four sections over here I'm also going to adjust my ceiling type. I found out that a GWB works better, so I'm going to use that. And if you didn't, that should be fine still. But I think I'm going to make that standard now. And then I'm going to finish my ceiling so it's in place. And then hopefully we can go to component, load family, lighting. And put in some ceiling lights. So I'm just going to add a few to this structure. And if you've already added these, you can just kind of skip past this part. Okay, so a number of ceiling lights in this area. And then we want to go back to our ground floor and you'll notice right away we don't see the ceiling lights and we're going to actually make sure that we can this time. Go ahead, right click on ground floor, go to duplicate view and then go to duplicate. We're going to create a second copy and then we're going to rename this copy to electrical plan floor one. And for this project, if you just do a level one electrical plan, that is more than enough. If you'd like to do both for your two floors or for your two floors and your green roof, then that is fine as well. But as long as you have one, that should be fine. And definitely do the first floor since that will be your most detailed. Okay, so we have all this in place and we want to get our lights to show up here. So let's go ahead and get our lights to show up here. Back at your ceiling plan, I would like you to double click on one of the lights and it's going to kind of take us into the lights options. So right now we can see the light I want you to go to View All, Elevations, and then click on one of these elevations. And you're going to see the light, and the reason it doesn't show up is because it's not at the floor. And since it's not at the floor, it doesn't show up. <laughs> so let's make it actually appear, and we're going to do that by creating an invisible line that reaches the floor, and it pretty much indicates that there is a light object there. So go to Model Line, and if it asks you to pick a plane, go ahead and pick Light Source Axes. If it doesn't, then I don't think you need this, but Light Source Axes, hit OK. And then I want you to draw an invisible line from the center of your lighting object down to about yeah, maybe seven or eight feet. I'm going to draw it down eight feet so that it should come into contact with the floor. And if it doesn't, we can go back here and adjust it, but I think we're fine with that. So let's go load into project, hit check the families you want to load into that. Uh, I want to load it into whichever project you're working on. I've actually been working with several templates so I believe it's one of those two. Hit OK. Overwrite, yes. And now if we go to our ground floor, you're going to notice that your lights are visible. So now we can see them in the ground floor and we can also see them in the electrical. Yeah. And we can always hide things. So now the next part is we're going to hide some things. We're going to make this a little more, bit more viewable. And one of the things we're going to hide is the floor, because if you have a floor in your structure, let me 
to draw a makeshift floor. Well, sometimes it's going to have a, some detail on it and that's actually going to obstruct things. So you definitely want to hide the floor and we're going to do that. Go over to Visibility Graphics Override on your electrical plan, Edit, and I want you to hide the floor. So look for your floor, there it is, and you're simply going to hide it. Uh, where is it? Yeah. Oh, the check mark, click that, hit apply. And it should hide the floor. You can notice it vanished from my view. And then we're going to half tone a number of things. We're going to half tone all windows, walls, what else? Uh, doors, specialty equipment, let me hit apply. Yeah. So everything, let's see if we can get rid of those columns. Columns, no. So almost everything, I was actually hoping I could dim these eye beams but everything's been dimmed a bit. I thought the walls were dimmed. Do, do, do. There we go. Everything's been dimmed except for the lights and the electrical. So now we have those and they're visible. <laughs> Maybe I'm not hitting apply. Okay. Okay. Now everything's invisible. So we have these in place, our lights and that, and we also want to make sure we have our main panel somewhere. So let me put in a main panel. Doo -doo -doo. I'm just going to put it, let's say this was the location of my storage room. Okay. Now we're just going to rig everything together. So let's head over to annotate, detail line, and I want you to use a hidden line. I believe these are still green. Yeah, these are green, so we can use these to represent our electrical. And I also want you to make sure that you are using the spline tool so that we can essentially connect them together. So if you have a switch and your switch controls something, like controls an outlet, let's say like this room over here, we can simply use the spline and we can connect it to whichever outlets it is connected to. So this is a three-way switch. We can control it from both areas. You might notice that with the spline tool, it doesn't quite reach the outlets. So I'd like you to adjust it so that they are making contact with the outlets that you are using, like that. If it is an outlet that is controlled solely by the main panel, then I want you to use the spline tool to reflect that. So let's say this outlet and this outlet and this outlet and this outlet are controlled directly by the main panel. I've clicked at all four of them and now it's just simply using the spline tool to adjust the lines such that it makes contact with the outlets. It's going to take a little bit of uh, finesse to, to get there. There we go. Cool. If the outlets are controlled by a switch then you don't need to connect them to the main panel and that's going to actually help keep things more or less cluttered. Uh, so that works for here as a demonstration.
of it connecting directly to the main panel. Over here is a demonstration of it connecting to a three-way switch. Over here is a demonstration of a, a switch connecting to two ceiling lights. And if we wanted to, let's say, connect the main or the panels, the ceiling lights, directly to the main panel, we would just do it the same as we would anything else. Kind of just click on the different objects, press escape, and then use the spline tool to adjust them into place. And there we go. That's the electrical plan. Go ahead and set up your first floor. Uh, if you feel like you have the time or confident enough, you can also attempt to do the second floor and go ahead and set up how your cables would run across your library. Okay, that concludes this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Peace.